they really came early yo. like that's the one thing about the feds like they don't be playing they come at six in the morning when you probably sleeping probably waking up like you were probably in boxes or it's ridiculous <laughs> Hi, uh, yeah, I'm back with another YouTube video. It's from Road Talk, the podcast with expensive opinions. Um, as y'all can see, I'm by myself for this episode. Um, you know, just wanted to switch it up in a sense, you know, get more comfortable with the camera in front of me and stuff like that. Because I'll definitely have more episodes where it's just me, um, you know, talking about, you know, ev everything and anything. Um, Make sure y'all, before we even get started though, make sure y'all subscribe, y'all like, y'all comment, y'all share. Check the um, TikTok page for the podcast down in the description. Got that going. We're doing some numbers over there. We're growing. We're growing slowly but surely. Um, and yeah, before I even start, uh, as y'all can see, I drop every Friday in the podcast channel. But the reason why I missed last Friday is because I went to um, Orlando, Florida. I vlogged that too, so... I'm gonna put the the link to that vlog down in this description. It's three vlogs. I'm about to drop the second one today with this podcast. But yeah, you know, I'm trying to stay as consistent as possible. Um, and yeah, so as y'all can see, just bear with me. I'm getting more comfortable. This is the first time I. This is the first episode uh, where I do, I'm doing it by myself. But it definitely won't be the last. But to get straight to it, today we're gonna talk about probably the the most trending topic right now, like all throughout Twitter, Instagram, probably Facebook. I don't got Facebook, but that's the whole um racketeering, um, Rico charge that they put on that why what for for YSL. Um and it's ridiculous. And it's funny because 'cause I'm just unlocking my phone and I see that um fifty cent said that he rather takes he ra he rather take a homicide right now over a Rico charge. Let's see what let's see what Gang, gang, gang. When I get on the record with her, I'll go, I am not gang, gang. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I do not gang, bang. <laughs> Immediately. Because <laughs> I, I don't like Rico. I don't like conspiracy. Right. You know, give me a homicide right now. I'll take a homicide right now before you give me that. Because, look, look John Gallo will walk out the courtroom successful three times until they start calling him Teflon Don homicides. Now, that's crazy. And then they come. That's crazy. I mean... <sighs> Damn, I don't, know, I don't even know where to get started. For those who don't know, I'm about to get the definition of what a... a, 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 a I'm about to get it right now. Of what a RICO um, charge is. So it says, uh, It is a crime for any person through a pattern of racketeering activity to acquire or maintain any interest in or control of any type of property or business under the Georgia RICO law. Okay, whatever, whatever. So basically, it's, it's a bunch of like... Look. The, what is the minimum sentence for a RICO charge? 20 years. So long story short, YSL um, is a music group under uh, under Young Thug and allegedly uh, uh, a gang. Um, they were charged with a RICO charge um, and it was like 28 heads, 28 people. And it was like 56 like um, charges or something. For, for, yeah, 56 charges. I'm not going to lie. That when I saw that, that was ridiculous because it's like it's Young Thug, like everybody who know, everybody knows who Young Thug is, and 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 everybody knows who Gunna is. So it says breaking you no know, rapper Gunna, um, who goes by Sergio Kitchens, <clears throat> has surrendered to authorities in Fulton, Fulton County. He is charged with conspiracy to violate the Racketeer Influence and Corrupt Organizations Act. So yeah, that's what Rico stands for. Racketeer influenced and corrupt organizations. Um, I'm not gonna lie to get to my opinion about it, that's tough because, like, when you got hit with a RICO charge, like, that ain't no joke. And especially people who got hit with that is like, you know, people who've been watched, be, who, who've been watched for like many years from the feds and stuff like that. Um, can I do I think that if they could beat it? I don't know. I, I, I don't even think it says Yeah, I don't I don't know how that goes. I, I feel like I think you don't think the only way is if you snitch and I don't think they're gonna snitch. Like I don't think they're gonna do that. 
It says Young Thug and Gunna are among 28 people associated with YSL that have been charged in a 56 count indictment on Monday. It's ridiculous. Um, I, I there was like a video, like they came to pick up Young Thug early in the morning. It was helicopters and all of that. Like it's ridiculous. Um, it says Young Thug, born Jeffrey Lamar Williams, was taken into custody after the home after the home he was at was raided and is being held at Fulton. Fulton County Jail, so he's in the same place where Gunner is at, as of now. Um, he's been charged with conspiracy to volley and right, same as Gunner, volley racketeer influenced and corrupt organization, which is stands for Rico, and participation in criminal street gang activity, according to jail records. Um, I'm not gonna lie, supposedly they've been looking at them since 2012, 2015. So like that could that's that says a lot. Like they've really been. Watching they every move for the longest, and um, it's funny too because uh, I think it's Gilly or Walla, one of them two had warned Young Thug, like, yo, like they watch from but Gilly and Walla from a million dollars worth of game podcast was warning them, and it was telling them, like, yo, like, you know, leave that that street life behind, you know, like, you, you, you are who you are now, you know, that there was public figures, there was rappers, pop stars, like, there was big, the spotlight was on them. And not too long ago, they both dropped um, albums, so it's just like it's, it's ridiculous. Like, who would have thought? Um, but in my opinion, like, it's tough. I I would say like anybody who's out there who they want to if they want to become somebody someday, like you know, especially if, if you want to like consider yourself a rapper. <clears throat> if you had that like street life before, okay, cool, whatever. But once you like become big, like I I advise you to leave that behind because it's like. Once that spotlight is on you and it's just a lot like your name is everywhere and like you don't want that. You don't want to mix that with being like, you know, into like street activity or street gang activity. So it's like, it's ridiculous. Um, Unfortunately, two of the best rappers, in my opinion, like is, is in custody. I don't know how it's going to go. I don't know if, you, if they're going to beat it. Right now it's under the state of Georgia. So if they, if I heard like it's... It, it's not even under the... I, I don't know. I don't want to get it mixed up, but it's under the state of Georgia. But then if that goes and they get past it somehow, some way, the feds could pick it up. And it's like, I don't know, man. It's ridiculous. But they, they were denied bail. So, I mean, I, I got the video right here in front of me. I'm going to make sure I put it, like, and I'll edit it in for y'all so y'all can see it. It really came early, yo. Like, that's the one thing about the feds. Like, they don't be playing. They come at 6 in the morning when you probably sleeping, probably waking up, like, you were probably in boxes or it's ridiculous. They 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 not playing though. Fifty six count indictment. That's probably like two charges per people because it's twenty eight of them. It's probably not little a little two charges per people who like per all twenty eight people. But it's ridiculous. Um, and also Young Thug is accused of renting a twenty fourteen Infinity Q fifty sedan. Um. Which was the car that a whole murder was like part of. It was ridiculous. It's just too much going on. Um, I wish they was free though. Like, I'm not going to lie. Like, just because the, the music that they drop is ridiculous. Like, they, they're, they're good rappers. But at the end of the day, it's like, you know what you're getting yourself into. You know, with whatever. Like, if anything in life. That's why we, you know, have the choice to decide if you want to get into something or not. It's just, they just... You know, unfortunately, um, got caught, and it's like it's it's really tough because they come from like Georgia, and that's like ATL, like the best rappers. Like I can name countless amount of rappers, like just that came out of um Atlanta, and you know are good rappers. Like, but we gonna see how it goes. Um, it's really tough though. Uh, we just gonna have to see who carries like music. In Atlanta, um, until you know they come out of jail or whatever it is, like we we gotta see who put Atlanta in their back. If you ask me, I think it's Little Baby, but yeah, man, for all y'all rappers out there, I'm not gonna lie, just just stay out of like all that nonsense. To be honest, cause it's like like Pop Smoke said, we can't afford to fuck up. You know, especially us people of color, like we can't afford to fuck up now. They both in there. Who 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 would have thought that Gunner and Young Thug was really gonna get for me? But it is what it is. I don't want to repeat too much. Um, like I said, that's tough. And Young Thug is 
in my top five rappers of all time. I fuck with Young Thug heavy. Um, but yeah. Alright, moving on. Um moving on to another big rapper, um, from the industry, Kendrick Lamar. Um, everybody's like everybody's aware who Kendrick is. Uh but to get to the point, Kendrick dropped a, a new album, um, the uh Mr. Morell and the Big Steppers. I think that's how you pronounce it. To be honest, um before I even get to my opinion, uh the album has eighteen songs, disc one and disc two, um nine nine songs in each disc. Um last time he dropped was like five years ago. Uh the album name was Damn. And you know, everybody was really ha- like I was hyped for it and all of that. But to be honest, I don't know, the album doesn't fit my vibe, which is fine, you know, that's just my opinion. I don't know, I don't think it's I feel like it's just too slow, like and before y'all say, oh, you a casual, you, you you probably don't don't um don't understand what he's saying. Like, I definitely know like the messages and all of that. I like I, I already know what the type of like the type of view Kendrick has, you know, and the type of view Kendrick has of life and like what he raps about. So I, I understand that whatever like what he drops is not was like you can't really compare Kendrick to anybody else. So. I, I'm 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 aware of like the messages he has in his raps. I just don't. It just doesn't fit my vibe. I, I definitely like damn more than this album. I can only give a, a, a listen one like one listen like from top to bottom. But I gotta tune in again and see if my um my opinion changes. But um got Kodak in there. It has Baby Keem. It has Sampha. It has it has a couple of artists. It's not that much features, but you know. But that is his last um album on the TDE, which was the label he was in before this album dropped. Now he's every, every now I'm pretty sure everything he drops is gonna be under PG Ling, and that's his own um his own label. So we are gonna see how. I, hopefully he he drops more frequent. Hopefully he don't go goes for another five years and come back. And you know, so that's definitely something we gotta watch out for. And yeah, I mean. I don't really want to compare it to no CLB or Donda because the vibes is just too different. But it's not my vibe. I like like two, three songs though. Don't get me wrong, but that's just it is what it is. Y'all let me know down, you know, down in the comments and all of that what y'all think about it. If you ask me to rate it, I'll give the new Kendrick album like uh, off the first listen, like four out of ten. Real shit. Like y'all may get at me. Some of y'all may agree, but. That's just my opinion, though, like, for me, to each his own, so, yeah. Now, um, I want to take the opportunity to, like, really sit down and talk on things, like, you know, since it's just me, you know, um, now in this episode. Let's talk about basketball, though. Um, the 76ers, man, the 76ers, they was eliminated last night by the Miami Heat. Um, I, I honestly had the 76ers winning this series, but sadly, they didn't. Well, not sadly, but you know what I mean. Um, James Harden, you fell off badly. Like, like I don't know what it is. Like, I don't know. I don't know if it's that lifestyle, like outside of basketball. Like, I don't know if it's that party, and I don't know what it is. But you fell off. Like, you know, I I, I get. I personally give you a chance this 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 playoff run, and you you disappointed. Like, you didn't. You only shot two shots last night, fourth quarter. Um. I, it's just too much. It, like Tyrese Maxey outscored you, if I'm not mistaken, in every game this series. Unless that, um, besides that one game, I think it was game two or three. But it's just like the 76ers. I don't know. It's it's it's, it's iffy because it's like they saying Doc Doc Rivers is staying. They saying that, you know. But I, I I honestly think Doc Rivers is not a good coach. He might disagree with me. He will disagree with me. Not might, but honestly. That's tough though. Um, that's really really tough. Uh, James Harden is just not the same player he was once, like in Houston or even in the beginning of um of when he was in the Brooklyn Nets. And yeah, they got eliminated. They got up. They got bounced out the second round. Now it's Miami against the Bucks or the Celtics. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know who's gonna what. Probably Bucks finishes finish the series tonight. Then we got Bucks and Heat. I don't know. It could go either way. That's gonna be that that Eastern Conference gonna be something to watch though definitely, but um, 
they also talking about Kyrie Irving and not um not not giving him another deal with Nike. And it's just I feel like Kyrie Irving just getting bashed like left and right. Um he was on Twitch the other day. He was live on Twitch. And honestly, like NBA players they just like us. Like I feel like NBA players like the the way Kyrie was speaking and the way he, he, he gave his thoughts and, and his view on things, like I feel like I was even like somebody I'm cool with, like just the way he he broke everything down and how he was like interacting like with his viewers on Twitch and stuff like that. But I feel like, and then they talking about oh that they need somebody com more committed to the Nets. I I do agree on that part, but it's like I feel like if if COVID, if the if the the rules and like everything that had to do with COVID wasn't so big in New York, like because New York was probably like one of the last cities who really let you know, the mandate, like, go through and, and be okay with, with people not being vaccinated. But I, I feel like that was the only thing that stopped Kyrie from coming back. And I, I don't blame him. He's he standing on what he, he believed. He didn't he didn't want to get the vaccine. I mean, that's totally fine, you know. Like I said, it's, it's to each his own, in a sense. But it's just, I, I feel like Nike should, like, give him that contract because it's like, he's probably, like, top three or top two, like, you know, right now, right now, when, like, signed, signed with Nike, like, his shoes are really up there, like, you got a lot of people, like, buying it, and I, I'm pretty sure his, his, like, the market would, like, the Nike market would probably drop, you know, because it's like, I mean, it's Nike, it's, they're always gonna have that, that, that value, and, like, that, that, um, what's the word, they're always gonna have that, like, that view on him, cause it's, it's Nike's been here forever. But I think that that contract should be given to him for Nike. I don't know if if he if he if he um I don't know if he's gonna be as committed as he as he once was back in the day for the Nets. We just gonna have to wait and see for next season. Um, I don't know, but yeah, that's that. Um, the Mavs. The Mavs might beat the Suns, like, who would have thought? And, yeah, like, it's, it's just a lot going on in the NBA right now, you know. And I want to talk about it in every episode because it's like I have a lot of viewers who are NBA fans. And, you know, I just want to, you know, stay updated with that and, you know, take this platform to be able to talk about that. But, yeah, I mean, I feel like we covered a lot. I feel like I covered a lot um, with the YSL indictment. Listen, man. <sighs> Just, just be smart. If just, just, just stick and move. Like, feel me. Like, know, know what you're gonna do and and how you're gonna do it. And, but just know, if you in that spot, if and you, if if you a young thug or you a gunner, you're always gonna have you always gonna have eyes on you. So, that's just that. Um. And with the Kendrick album, to be honest. I might, I'm gonna give it another listen, but I, I, is, I don't think my opinion is gonna change much just because, like, the way he came on the album, it, it fits people, it fits certain people. It, it, fit, it, it There's people who I know who also feel the same way about me. So it's just like, that's that. Um, 76ers, I don't know, should Harden even get a bigger contract? I think they're talking about a five year contract for like. 270 million if i'm not mistaken that that's i wouldn't give that a hard and the way he's looking he's not the same hard and um little baby please carry atlanta like while young thug and gunner is like you know dealing with what they're dealing with um golden state we gonna win the chip like i don't even gotta say this um we know it like if you know you know um and yeah to be honest, that's that's basically it for this episode. Hopefully, y'all y'all like it. You know, it was just me by myself. Um, I'm still gonna have people come up here and talk and all of that. But you know, I just wanted to try something different. Like I said, make sure y'all subscribe. Make sure y'all share. Y'all comment. Y'all like. Run up that. Run up the TikTok. Like, run up the TikTok for this podcast. Um, and yeah, man. I see y'all till next video. It's your boy Salsita, and I'm out.